In this animation, we're going to be watching how the length of day or the duration of insulation changes at different latitudes for different seasons. So here we have an overhead view of the Earth, a polar view, and this is the North Pole, and we can see some select latitudes here, 75 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 45 degrees north, 30, 15, the outermost circles the equator, and this dashed line over here is an important latitude, the Arctic Circle. Now if we look up here, we can see where the Earth is in its orbit around the Sun. And we're going to watch as it revolves around the Sun. And as we've talked about, a critical part of what causes the seasons is that the Earth is tilted on its axis by 23 and a half degrees as it makes a revo revolution around the Sun. So we're starting on the equinox, the fall equinox, which is always around September 21st. It could be the 22nd or even the 23rd sometimes, but around the 21st is what we're going to be using for our start of our seasons for this little lesson. And on the equinox we can see why it's called the equinox. All over the earth there is equal hours of day and night. And if you think of this like a black and white cookie with the lit part being vanilla and the dark part being like chocolate, there's a 50-50 split of daylight and darkness, or vanilla and chocolate, and over the entire globe. So all those latitudes we talked about are going to rotate through the same amount of daylight. Sunrise is around 6 a.m., and it's going to, all these little latitudes are rotating through until they reach sunset here at 6 p.m. So that is a 12-hour 12, 12 day. Now let's see what happens as we move on in time to the winter solstice. So we can see changes happening here. And I'm going to step forward to the winter solstice. And you can notice where the Earth is now in its path. So we have the northern hemisphere is tilting away from the sun on December 21st, and that's our winter. And we can see our black and white cookie has changed a lot. Right now, we have a cookie that is mostly chocolate and just a smaller bit of vanilla. Well, not only that, we can see that these latitudes are not going to rotate through equal amounts of daylight. And if we start over here, the equator and 15 degrees north are rotating through daylight over here, up oh, but now 30, whoops, now 45, whoops, now 60. And if we go higher, we can see this area here, the Arctic Circle actually never rotates into the daylight at all. So there's 24 hours of darkness anywhere above the Arctic Circle on the first day of our winter in the Northern Hemisphere. So since the Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees away from the Sun in the Northern Hemisphere, anywhere from 66.5 north is going to be completely in darkness. Because if you take 90 degrees and you sub subtract that 23 and a half degree tilt, you get 66.5 or the Arctic Circle. So we can see that the farther north you go on the first day of winter in the Northern Hemisphere, the shorter the day you're, is going to be, or the shorter the duration of insulation. Duration meaning length of, length of time and insulation meaning sunlight. So now let's go and move to the spring equinox. So pay attention to the earth over here as well as pay attention to our overhead view over here.
Okay, we'll step through at this point to the spring equinox. And we can see we're over here in the Earth's orbit. And this should look very familiar because, of course, it's the same as the fall equinox. So the spring equinox and the fall equinox are symmetrical. Neither hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, nor is either hemisphere tilted away. And therefore, there is no sunlight advantage for either hemisphere. And our black and white cookie is 50-50 again, vanilla and chocolate, or rather daylight and darkness. So we're going to move on to the first day of summer in the northern hemisphere. Again, pay attention to that all these latitudes are rotating through 12 hours of daylight. And of course, that's why, again, it's called the equinox, or equal day and night all over the globe. All right, we're going to move forward, pay attention to the orbit, as well as the changes in sunlight on the globe, looking down on the North Pole. And we will step through here. And now we have the opposite of what we experience, of course, in our winter. So this is the summer solstice, and you can see here that the northern hemisphere is now tilted towards the sun, not away. And it's tilted 23 and a half degrees away from the vertical towards the sun. And now we have a mostly vanilla black and white cookie. And if we go through our latitudes again over here, we're going to see some very distinct differences in the length of daylight or the duration of insulation over a day. One significant thing, of course, is now the tables are turned and everywhere in the Arctic Circle and above has 24 hours of daylight. If we look at the other latitudes here, we're actually going to see that the farther we go towards the equator, actually the shorter the day you're having. So if we catch up right here with sunset, the equator and 15 degrees north are going to have the sunset first, now 30, now 45, now 60. And again, the Arctic Circle is never going to have sunset. It's always going to be spinning through daylight. And now up 60 degrees north has sunrise. Now 45 has sunrise. Now 30. And now 15 in the equator. So through this wonderful little animation, we can see how the duration of insulation varies depending on latitude over the course of the four seasons. And let's just go back to the equinox, the fall equinox, to finish up. And you can see how this is a gradual change over the days. It doesn't jump from one condition to, to another. In that case, the northern hemisphere was tilting more and more away from the sun as we went through this part of our orbit. So that vanilla cookie gradually became more and more equal over time. So these changes are gradual as we go through the days of the seasons.